There is an unreported conflict raging across Latin America. Eu acho que nós índio Caiuá, nós vamos morrer tudo. Nossa raça vai terminar aqui. E há muitos casos de alergia, há casos de contaminação, há casos onde morrem animais, morrem pessoas. O sea... Nós somos, nós somos protegidos. O poder é a plata. These problems have been caused by the controversial spread of soy production, a large part of which is grown to feed factory farmed animals in Europe, and much of it genetically modified. In a groundbreaking investigation, this film reveals the true cost of growing soy in South America. In Paraguay alone, over 2.6 million hectares of land are used to grow soya, and the effect of this on local communities has been devastating. Ante anteriormente vivíamos los indígenas de del monte, de los eh, de los de todos los montes, los bichos, los frutas y esto, y ahora termina porque ya ve usted que acá ya no rodea ya estancia. Y eso es una invasión de hambre de reforestar. Ellos vienen a fundir la cosa eh, natural como a estos bosques. Este es el principal de arroyo que, que cruza aquí eh, en otra comunidad. Este se llama Arroyo Sabillú. Y acá lo que cuando venena ahí, vino todo, todo lo veneno cuando llueve. Y este está podrido, este agua a través de esto plantaciones de soja Most of the soya grown in Latin America is exported to Europe and Asia Much of it is genetically modified and produced by the biotechnology multinational Monsanto Contrary to the claims of companies that produce genetically modified crops strong evidence now shows a massive increase in the use of pesticides with the planting of these crops Getulio de Oliveira is a member of the Kayawa people. Então com com venenos de estragar cada vez mais, cada vez mais forte veneno, cada vez mais dificuldade. Então isso nosso sofrimento aqui. E não tem como para gente também a mata também que protege o nosso solo também, né? Não tem mais mato, tem só e não tem aonde a água cada vez vai sumindo, né? Se não tem nada, a criança passa mal, a criança sente fome. Tem tempo que. tempo de. de sem comida, né? E onde o pai, a mãe, a gente vai na cidade procurar o recurso. Ele fala, não, Índia está procurando lixo para comer. Não é isso que nós pensamos, nós estamos procurando comida. E eles falam, aquele que tem, eles falam que nós estamos procurando lixo ainda. Não é, talvez, como não tem espaço mesmo. Experts claim that the rapid spread of soya farming has given rise to a new breed of brutal and intimidatory tactics by the soy industry. La expulsión campesina se da por varios mecanismos. Un mecanismo es la compra directa de la tierra, otra es el alquiler, otra es el amedrentamiento a través de la contratación de matones armados. Cuando una comunidad se resiste a vender su tierra o cuando una familia, peor aún, se resiste a vender su tierra, todos sus alrededores son fumigados, ya sea con el glifosato, el Randap, o con este, el Paracuat. These chemicals are increasingly being linked to a host of health problems, including skin rashes, diarrhea, vomiting, genetic malformations, loss of sight, and even death. Se estima que son más aproximadamente unos 20 millones de litros de agrotóxicos potentes que son arrojados en la región oriental del país cada año, 20 millones de litros, con la consiguiente contaminación de todo lo que encuentre, la muerte de fauna y flora este, local, nativa, abejas, animales domésticos, cultivos de autoconsumo se ven afectados por el herbicida y todo esto va atentando contra la posibilidad de arraigo que pueda tener una familia en esas comunidades. 
Petrona Villasboa knows the dangers of living close to soya farms all too well. In 2003, her son, Silvino Talavera, was sprayed with chemicals as he cycled back from the village. The Supreme Court in Paraguay sentenced the two farmers to two years in jail for the death of Silvino, but community workers say that they are unlikely to serve their sentence. Almost all of the soya grown in Latin America is controlled by a handful of multinational companies such as Monsanto, Bunge, ADM and Cargill. Even as hunger and food insecurity rises, these companies are making ever-increasing profits with the sale of patented seeds pesticides and fertilizers. Much of the soy is sent to Europe, where it's used as a cheap and protein-rich animal feed in factory farms across the continent. Most consumers in Europe are unaware that the meat and dairy products that they eat are made from animals that have been fed on genetically engineered soya, or that this soya has been grown on deforested land that has displaced thousands of local communities. The widespread deforestation of Latin America to feed European farm animals has huge implications for climate change as well. Global meat and dairy production is now responsible for 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions, more than the entire transport sector. There is a solution, however, and it is much closer to home. Hanny von Beek is a farmer and the chairman of the Dutch Arable Farming Union in the Netherlands. Uh, op dit moment is het zo dat uh, de soja die uh, naar Europa wordt geïmporteerd, die is zo goedkoop dat Europese boeren daar niet tegen kunnen concurreren. Dat komt omdat uh, die productie ten koste gaat van het milieu en van de mensen in Zuid-Amerika. Europe must stop its reliance on damaging soy. It must support farming in South America that produces food for its own people rather than for animals in Europe. European producers should also be encouraged to farm in a way that does not damage the environment and communities overseas. Als alternatief voor soja in vevo zouden we in Europa heel goed erten, veldbonen, granen, uh, lupine kunnen telen, um, ook grasklaven. Better food and farming is possible, but we need urgent political action to change the current system. At the moment, factory farming of meat and dairy in Europe is not benefiting people or the environment. We need to stop factory farming our meat and dairy and use homegrown feeds and more extensive farming. The only way that this can be done is to completely overhaul the way the government supports agriculture in Europe, to shift subsidies away from factory farming and towards better quality farming.